Jamar looking to throw. Got a man wide open. It's time for the U.S. Marines High School Football Blitz on Fox 30. Hands the ball off to Willie Campbell. He takes a step back and he's going to turn the corner. This is the only place to see full coverage of local high school football games, halftime shows, and more. You're watching the Blitz on Fox 30. Let's get to the action. Welcome to the Blitz. We're going to throw. Got a man wide open in the end zone. I'm here with Coach Blackburn of the Northeast Trojans. Coach, came off kind of a tough loss last week, but this is a completely different situation for you guys tonight. That's right. You know, I, I always try and preach to our kids to go 1-0, and just win the week, the game that we've got that week, and uh, put whatever happened the week before behind you and look forward to this week. Thank you, Coach. Uh -huh. Here with Coach Mac Barnes. Coach, you came off a great win last week, but this week is a completely different situation, bragging rights and all that stuff. Well, you play week to week, and we, we had come off of a tough loss at Simpson and played a good start with team last week that uh, we did play well. And now we hit a stretch. We have Northeast tonight, Jackson Prep next week. And we've got East Rankin in two weeks, and that's our district championship right there. It's a one-game district championship. So, you know, we're trying to get better each week. You hear coaches say that, but literally that's what happens in these first five games. And when you hit your playoff situation, which for us is in two weeks, you want to be playing well and you want to be healthy. So, you know, that's what I hope we get out of this tonight. Thank you, Coach, and good luck. And here come the Raiders. And here come the Northeast Lauderdale Trojans, Allen, and I'm Elton Reed. And I'm Alan Hunt. Welcome to the U.S. Marine High School Football Blitz on Fox 30. We're here at Lamar School tonight, little private school versus public school face-off. Yeah, this will be a uh, starting to be a rivalry, Alan. This is the third year they've played, and they've split one and one. Should be a good one. Uh, Northeast won last year by a uh, Lamar missed a field goal at the end of the game to come away with the win. One notable thing tonight, uh, Northeast starting quarterback Lane Gordon is injured with a shoulder injury, and he will not be starting tonight. Jarvis Cook, Allen, will be getting the start nod for the Trojans, and this is a homecoming for Lamar School uh, as well, so, you know, they'll have a, uh, some extra hype. Northeast won the toss, and they elected to kick off to start the game, which means they'll be receiving the ball at the beginning of the, uh, of the second half. J.T. McClellan back to receive for Lamar. The ball's going to die right there at the 15-yard line. Picked up by number 25, J.D. Lee. J.D. found a seam and is finally brought down at the 40-yard line. Luke Harper, number seven for the Trojans, makes the tackle. Nice return for the Raiders. And Lamar's going to start the game first and 10 at their own 40-yard line. A lot of players are going to be going both ways tonight on uh, Northeast and Lamar tonight, Elton. Davis Harrison looking to throw, a little screen pass. That's number 10, Will Roberts. And Will's going to lose about five yards on that play. Number two makes the tackle, Hoolan. Will Roberts is, is a receiver to watch on the Lamar side of the ball. He caught for three touchdown passes last week in uh, Lamar's now. victory. And looks like they're gonna give Lamar that five yards they lost right back. Down Number 86, down. Sam Vaughn in the backfield with Harrison. Got Will across the middle. Big defensive play right there. Yeah, that's Jarvis Cook, Allen, playing both ways. He's gonna be starting quarterback with stride for stride with him, breaks it up at the last yeah. minute. By Davis and Jenny for Will Davis looking to go to the air again. Got Will Roberts across the middle, and Will cannot hang on to that ball, and it's going to bring up fourth down and a punting situation for Lamar. That is an uncharacteristic drop by Will. And Jarvis Cook's going to be back to receive the punt for Northeast. Zach Engel punts the ball away, knuckleball. It's going to take a Lamar bounce. Jarvis Cook's wisely going to let that ball go. Looks like Lamar's going to down the ball about the 15-yard line, and that's where Northeast is going to start their first offensive series of the game. 
Jarvis Cook will be getting the start for the injured uh, Lane Gordon. Had a little uh, shoulder separation last week against Forrest in a hard fall, uh, come up a little short last week in the Forrest game. Campbell staying between the tackles. He's going to pick up about three or four yards on the play. And he's brought down by Chance Purvis. And, you know, last year's game, Willie Campbell had a really nice game, rushed for a couple, rushed for about 120 yards, Allen. And that's going to be a real challenge for uh, Coach Barnes' defense tonight. They're not very deep, and Willie Campbell can just bang that ball between the tackles on you all night long, and that's going to be a real challenge for this Lamar defense tonight. Number 27 on the carry. He tries to get to the outside. That's Darius Bell on the carry for Northeast. He still picks up about two yards on the play. Looks like number 62 making the tackle, Alex Waldron. His dad told me his nickname today, Allen's Gator. <laughs> Getting in on some action early. Jarvis Cook on the foot stomp. Going to hand off to a man in motion. Number 22 on the carry. That's A.J. Thomas. And A.J. Thomas, I believe, is going to come up a little short of that first down. Uh, Chance Purvis makes the tackle once again. Last year, that young man had an excellent ball game as well. That's going to be fourth and short for Northeast. Looks like they're going to measure, Allen. I think he's going to come up about a yard short. Looks like the Trojans are going to punt. Devin Session is going to be punting the ball off for Northeast. And we got Clay Trulove back to receive the punt for the Lamar Raiders. Almost got a hand on that ball. Kind of went off the side of his foot. And once again, Lamar going to have great field position. Chance Purvis has destroyed the running back blocking him, Allen, and almost got a hand of it. And I think that interfered with the, with the punt. I'm telling you, Alec, uh, Chance Purvis has always got a motor running. He's going to have a big game tonight. Harris double pumps looking for man open. Had, uh, had Will Roberts. Open further downfield. That ball was uh, intended for JT McClellan. He had about a half a step on his man there, but couldn't quite get a. Allen, that ball was broken up by Cam Star Wars, number 17. Harrison on the pitch out. Sam Vaughn found a seam, and he's going to be real close to a Lamar first down. Last time we were here, Elton. Lamar was playing uh, Heritage Academy out of Columbus, and Sam Vaughn, he rushed for well over 100 yards in that game. And I don't really think we saw all of everything Sam Vaughn has to offer. Third and short, Harrison looking to throw. Sam Vaughn open in the flat. Vaughn going to pick up about seven yards on the play. They're finally going to call him down about the 30-yard line. And that's going to be a Lamar Raider first down. Looks like number six drug him down, Frank Ratcliffe. Got a man in motion. Throws the screen out to number five. Clay Trulove going to pick up about four or five yards on the play. Brought down by Luke Harper, number seven. Uh, they're going to spot him a little short and only going to give him about two and a half on that play, Elton. Going to hand off to Sam Vaughn. Vaughn picking up big chunks of yards and another Lamar first down across the 20-yard line. Lamar in the red zone. Luke Harper makes the tackle. Hit, hit him in the hole, but uh, Sam Vaughn still got the first down, Allen. Young man's running hard already. Sam Vaughn off the – Left side guard and tackle again, refuses to come down. Picks up a hard fought six yards. Brought down by Luke Harper. The offensive line, Allen, for Lamar is blowing uh, Northeast off the ball pretty well this drive. Sam Vaughn off the left side. He got hit that time, and we do have a flag on the play. Might have been a little face mask on that, Elton. Number 63, Allen, makes the hit and the tackle. That's Justin White, but I think he got him with a face mask. Ran into a, a, a former Southeast Tiger today 
on the street. Omari Horton, want to give a big shout out to him. We were calling his number just a couple of years ago. Yep. And that's going to bring up first and goal. And the ball is going to be placed at the seven yard line. Harrison looking to throw. Had, had Will Roberts in the end zone, overthrew him. Pitches out to Sam Vaughn on the play action. Sam Vaughn is in the end zone, and the Lamar Raiders will draw first blood We tonight. got a flag on the play, Allen. We may have a uh, either a hold or maybe a clip. And this one may be coming back. You can't say enough about this young offensive line for Lamar School. They're blowing the bigger Trojans off the ball, Allen, this drive and getting chunks of yards. You, you are absolutely right, Elton. Going to bring up second and goal. Way back from the 17-yard line now. Harrison in the shotgun. Harrison's going to fake the handoff. He's got a man over the top. Ooh. Number 27, Allen. I mean, Darius Bale just missed the interception. Lake Major was the intended receiver. Third and goal for the Raiders after they had a, a touchdown call back. Harrison looking to throw. Intended receiver number 11, Tyler Henson. Number two breaks it up. Hullen, he's just a freshman too, Allen. Number six, Zach Angel is going to attempt the uh, – the field goal looks like it's going to be around 36-yard attempt here. That's a pretty good size kick. Yeah, he's got a, he's got the leg too, Allen. And the ball is up, and it comes just a few yards short. I'm sure Zach wishes he had that one back. Yeah, he didn't hit it real clean, Allen, but they say he definitely – I've seen him kick longer field goals. So Northeast going to take, take over on downs, first and 10 from their own 20-yard line. Jarvis Cook on the quarterback keeper. The ball comes loose. The ball's still loose. And they say Lamar has it. Lamar with a big defensive takeaway right there. And that's what Major comes up with a fumble. He's always around the ball, Allen. Lamar obviously hungry for big turnovers and big plays. We do have a an official timeout on the field. And that is a heat timeout. And we'll take a break with 519 on the East Mississippi Community College clock. We are scoreless. And you're watching the U.S. Marine High School Football Blitz on Fox 30. Don't go away. We are the Raiders cheerleaders, and you're watching Fox 30. 